Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hi, everybody. This is Brandy. And I'm back to read the word of the living and true God. Hallelujah. What a wonderful afternoon. We thank God for this day. This is the day that the Lord has made. Hallelujah. Glory to God. This is his day that he made for us. And we shall be glad and rejoice in it. Oh, let me move this hair out the way. Glory be to the living King. Glory be to our Savior. Glory be to our God who sits on the throne. He sits high and looks low, meaning he don't miss a thing. He ain't missing nothing that's going down. Hallelujah. Going on down right up on here. In Jesus' name, glory to God. I pray all is well. I pray all can hear me well. I don't own the rights to the music. Oh, what is this? That Fair Use Act thing. Fair Use Act. Fair Use Act. I'm using the music. Hallelujah. To set the mood. It's a teaching. Hey, come on. I'm going to just say whatever I hear everybody else say. It's a teaching moment. I'm using the music to teach. Hey. For hallelujah. Education. That's, that's what it is. Educational purposes. The music is educational purposes. Glory to God. Guys, I left off. Hallelujah. In Galatians 5. And I got cut off. I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened with my phone, but it got it just cut off. But anyway, um, I want to finish Galatians 5 and, and finish 6. Galatians chapter 6. Hallelujah. We thank God for the reading of his word. His word has been a blessing to our soul. A blessing to our spirit, man. Glory to God. A blessing to our very lives. If it wasn't not, hallelujah, if it wasn't for the word of God. I don't know how I would make it. I need his word. His word is what keeps me going. His word is what anchors me in him. Glory to God. I thank God for his word. Hallelujah. So I think I was at uh, Galatians 5 verse 12. I have finished that uh, reading that. And so we're going to go into Galatians 5 13 and on. We're going to finish that off. I just bless the Lord. I thank you guys for coming in with me and tuning in, reading with me. And I thank God for increasing your life. My life is, is being enriched and increased. I thank God for hallelujah, dealing with us in every area of our lives through his word, through his Holy Spirit. We thank God for his Holy Spirit. We thank God for the salvation of Jesus Christ in Jesus name. So let's get ready. Let's get reading. Let's start. Hallelujah. Let's start this thing off. Verse 13. Hallelujah. King of glory. Come in this. Hallelujah. In this reading time. Come in this. Hallelujah. This very truck with me. King of glory. I need your presence right here with me. It says for you brethren. Verse 13. Have been called to freedom. You've been called to liberty. Only do not use your liberty. That very liberty. As an opportunity for to work the things of the flesh. You've been saved. Don't use that hallelujah salvation to go back into to the things of sin. But through love serve one another. But through love serve one another. Father in the name of Jesus. Find the people that you want me to serve oh God. Let, hallelujah. Let me be aligned with the people that you want me to serve. Glory to God in the name of Jesus. That's my that's our prayer. Verse 14, it says, for all the law is fulfilled in one word. All the law is fulfilled in one word. Even in this, you shall love your neighbors. You shall love your neighbor as you love yourself. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Hey, I should love my neighbor as I love myself. I should. Uh, that's why I, I, I try so very hard to treat people the way I want to be treated. I don't, want to be, I don't want to be mistreated, so why, am I sitting around, why would I sit around and mistreat people? Why would I sit around and, and, and make things hard for people? I don't want to be treated like that. So that's another way of loving my, loving my neighbor as I love myself. If I, if I love myself, I'm going to treat myself, I'm, going to treat, I'm treating myself good. Glory to God, I'm treating myself good. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. So, so love your neighbor as you love yourself. But if you bite, listen at this thing. But if you bite and devour one another, 
Beware lest you be consumed by one another. Glory to God. Unless you bite and devour, unless you snipping, snipping, poking a bear, poking a bear, poking a bear, devouring each other, trying to make somebody feel a certain way, trying to make us doing it on purpose. To this, when you when you biting at somebody and trying to devour them, you doing that on purpose. It, you can't you can't mistake that. That's not a mistake. That's not a oh 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 oh. I'm sorry. Uh uh. You doing that on purpose. You trying to get that person. To be, to, to be frustrated or agitated. Beware unless you consume one another. So meaning, don't do this to one another. Now you can consume each other. It's always on each other. Always trying to hurt somebody. Verse 16, it says, I say then. What is, what is Paul saying in this whole thing? We done went through, we done transitioned from the law. The law being, hallelujah, redeemed in Christ Jesus. Work on the cross. Glory to God, he redeemed us from the law. So now, this is what I'm saying, Paul says. Walk in the Holy Spirit, and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Walk in Holy Spirit. You won't even desire the lust of the flesh. You won't even desire to sin. You won't even desire to sin against God. If you walk according to the Holy Spirit. Verse 14, for the lust of the, lust, the flesh, I'm sorry, for the flesh, what does it do? It lusts against the Holy Spirit. It lusts against the Holy Spirit that's in on the inside of you. And the Holy Spirit against the flesh. So they're tugging in war, tugging in war, fighting to get you in right standing. The Holy Spirit fighting to get you in right standing. The, and lust is fighting to keep you in the, in the wrong position in God. Hallelujah. That's why you got to walk in the, the Holy Spirit. Because if you walk in the Holy Spirit, automatically he's winning against this lust of the flesh. And these are contrary. Yeah, they are contrary. These, these two things are contrary to one another. One is right and one is wrong. They're contrary to one another. So that you do not do the things that you wish. But if you are led, if I am led, if Brandy is led by the Holy Spirit. Father God, give me, give me, hallelujah. Give me to where I'm, li I'm lined up. I want to be lined up, being led by Holy Spirit. Not by this flesh, not by the desires of my flesh, but by Holy Spirit. Glory to God. Listen, I was telling God this morning. Listen, Father, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me operate from my heavenly places. Listen, I'm tired of this, this, this stuff here, this low level stuff, this low level foolishness. I'm, I'm tired of that. Low level foolishness. Glory to God. I'm like, Lord, align me. Hallelujah. With, 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 with things that are, that, are, that are above and not beneath. Align me with things that are ahead, that are the head and not the tail. Align me. Come on. Come on. Align me with those things that are, that are witty. Hallelujah. Align me with, uh, with the things that are scholarly and the spirit of excellence or honor. Align me with the intellect of God. Align me with those that don't mind being intelligent. Align me with those, oh God. Hallelujah. That won't be a, a, a jealous of, 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 of my anointing. Align me with those that won't be, a, be jealous of who I am. Align me with those. Hallelujah. That hallelujah, they have something that I need and I have something that they need and we work it together. Align me with that. I ain't got to listen, y'all. I'm so glad I've been, that God has been, has pulled me away from this, this stuff. He's pulled me away so I can desire that. So I can desire, glory to God, being with people with like-minded spirits, like-minded abilities, like-minded. I want to be around people smarter than me. I want to be around people that's been, been where I'm going. I want to be around people that love Jesus for real. I want to be around people that's in love with the Holy Spirit. I want to be around kingdom-minded people. I want to be around people that have the kingdom of God on the inside of them. I want to be around people that seek the kingdom. I want to be around people that seek the kingdom. I want to be around people that's knocking on the kingdom's door, asking the king, uh, kingdom of God, seeking the kingdom of God. I want to be around, I want to be around those people. But if I am led... 
by the Holy Spirit. I am not under the law. Verse 18. Now we're going to see this thing in verse uh, 19. Now the works of the flesh, the works of sin are evident. Which are, these are the things that are evident. The sin that's evident. Adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lewdness, idolatry, sorcery, hatred, contentions. My God, look at this thing. Jealousies, outbursts of wrath, outbursts of anger, selfish ambitions, dissensions, hearsays, envy, murders, drunkenness, revelries, and the like of which I tell you beforehand, just as I told you in times past, Paul said, in the, in, 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 hallelujah, said it uh, through the Holy Spirit, that those who practice such things, what are they practicing, Paul? They practice idolatry. They practice fornication. They practice uncleanness. They practice lewdness. Uh, they practice, hallelujah, idolatry, practicing sorcery, witchcraft, voodoo, necromancy, tarot card reading, the psychic, Palm reading, they practice in this witchcraft, dark arts, occultic practices, spells and rituals, demonic rituals. Come on, outbursts of anger, selfish ambition, doing things, hallelujah, just for self gratification, dissensions, of, oh God, hearsays. That sounds like a lie to me. Lying, it says here. Envy. They're practicing murders. They're practicing drunkenness. They're practicing revelries. Like I told you before. And like I told you times past. Those who practice such things will not, will never inherit the kingdom of God. Father God, deliver me from any of this any of this workings of the flesh deliver my soul from the workings of the flesh deliver my very being from the workings of the flesh let the holy spirit win out of, over the workings of the flesh in my life come on cuz i have to inherit the kingdom of god i have to i want to sit up here reading this word and can't, it won't get you won't see me hallelujah in the kingdom of god if that's the case listen come on I don't want to sit here reading the word of God, believing in God, being filled with his Holy Spirit and miss, hallelujah, the kingdom of heaven. Because I can't get these the workings of the, hallelujah, of the flesh off of me. I can't, hallelujah, get my lust, hallelujah, under submission to the Holy Spirit. Those things are contrary. All of these things, this workings of the flesh is contrary to Holy Spirit. But in verse 22, 5 of Galatians, the fruit of the Holy Spirit is. Lord God, I feel, I feel something coming on. I feel Holy Spirit. The fruit of the Spirit is. The fruit of the Holy Spirit is love, joy, peace. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Glory to God. I, I feel. Ha, ha, ha. I need something to drink, y'all. Excuse me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The works of the Holy Spirit. The fruit of the Holy Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness. God, make me faithful to you. Lord, let me walk in kindness. Let me walk in hallelujah, long-suffering. Let me walk in peace, oh God. Let me walk in joy. Let me walk in love. Let me walk in the kindness of God. Let me walk in the goodness of God. Let me walk in the faithfulness of God. Let me walk in the gentleness of God. Let me walk in self-control. Let me be able to control myself. Hallelujah. Let me be able to discipline my body. Discipline my spirit. Discipline my flesh. Let me align myself with the discipline of Holy Spirit. 
against this thing, against all of these, this fruit of Holy Spirit, there is no law. You need no law to love. You don't need a law, hallelujah, to be kind. You don't need a law for joy. You don't need a law to walk in peace. You don't need a law, hallelujah, to walk in long suffering and kindness and goodness and faithfulness. You don't need a law to be faithful. Father God, hallelujah, birth in me a faithfulness into you, O Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. I don't need law to be disciplined. I don't need a law to be full of self-control. I don't need law a law. My God. Verse 24 says, and those who are Christ, those who belong to Christ, have crucified. Uh oh, uh oh, here it is. Hey! Those who belong to Christ, we have crucified our flesh with its passions of and desires to sin. I added to sin. Hallelujah. So we can get the understanding there. Those that me, Brandy, I belong to Christ. Now I have crucified me. Now I've stopped it. I've severed it. I've severed my desire to sin. I've severed my desire and lust and passions. Of, hallelujah. To have, hallelujah. Whatever the passion is. Sex outside of wedlock. Hallelujah. Same sex. Hallelujah. Drinking passion. Smoking passion. I don't know what they are. You name the passions. Hallelujah. That ain't lined up with Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. I have severed it. I've crucified it. Hallelujah. From me. And I'm walking in holiness. Verse 26 it says. In verse, uh, verse 26 and 5 Galatians it says. Let us not become conceited. Come on y'all. Let us not be conceited walking around here like we God's gift to everything. Hallelujah. Like when he made us, it, the, everything stop. No. I'm not walking around here conceited. I'm not walking around here self-entitled. -enti Come on. I'm walking around here like I'm better than somebody. No. I know I'm not. If God said he don't have a respect of persons, why would I walk around here like I, I'm better than somebody? Let us not become conceited, provoking. Now, 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 now. Provoking what, God? Provoking one another. To what? Envying one another. Let us not provoke one another. That's another way to pick the bear. Pick, 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 pick. You're provoking me to anger. You're provoking me to, hallelujah, to be frustrated. You're provoking me, hallelujah. To be angry and mad and whatever else the thing is. Put it, plug it in. Somebody provoking you. Let's not provoke one another. Let us not envy one another. Let's not be jealous of one another. Hallelujah. Envy one another. Try to, try to stop somebody from having something. Because you don't think they deserve it. Who are you? How do you say somebody don't deserve it when God say they do? So now you their God. Now they got to bow before you. And they did all the, the leg work with Jesus Christ. Now they got to come through you like you. What, what? What? God ain't in that. Mm -mm. Let's not be envy of one another. Glory to God. I'm going to keep on going. I'm going to read six. I'm going to read chapter six too. Brethren, verse one of six Galatians. If a man is overtaken in a trespass. If he overtaken by sin. You who are spiritual. You that are filled with the Holy Ghost. You that have more wisdom. More maturity. More knowledge. More understanding of the things of the Holy Ghost. You that have more. Hallelujah. Restore him. Restore is such a, a one in the Holy Spirit. Restore. Uh -uh. See now. Uh -huh, uh -huh, I hear you. Now that takes love. So now what, what, the, what, what God is telling me is that we're not operating in love. Uh-oh. Now, hallelujah, I don't have enough love to restore somebody. That takes that take, uh, uh, the spirit of love to uh -huh, take the fruits of the, the spirit of love for me to restore somebody that's in the trespass. Hallelujah. That means the, the, the word said they're not far gone. They're not out there where they just 
you give them over to Satan. No. They may have made a mistake, whatever, whatever. But that, that, but God is saying those that are more spiritual, hallelujah. He says, restore such a one in a spirit of gentleness. Gentleness. Peace. Gentleness. Love. Gentleness. Kindness. Gentleness. Joy. Huh? Gentleness. Considering yourself. Now, I'm restoring this person with gentleness. I'm, I'm reeling them back in in gentleness. Considering me, because I could be that. I'm just one, one slip up away. I could, I'm considering myself when I do that. Doing that. Because, I, listen, I may need it one day. Come on. Considering yourself, lest you also be tempted. See? Bear one another's burdens. And so fulfill the law of Christ. Now, now, what is that law? What is the law of Christ? Love yourself, love, you shall love your neighbor as you love yourself. Love God and love your neighbor. That's the law of Jesus Christ. But let's keep going. For if anyone thinks himself to be something that he is not, he deceives himself. If anybody thinks they better than the next person, you've just deceived yourself. If you're walking around conceited and envious of other people, you've just deceived yourself. For, verse 4 says, but let each one examine. Here's the good stuff here. Here's the good news. Here's, the, here's how we get it right. Here's how we, step, we stay in reality. Here's how we stay sober in our thinking. Sober in our soul. Sober in our will. Verse 4 says, But let each one examine, meaning look upon, his own work and then he will have rejoicing in himself alone you, you looking at yourself looking looking good come on examine you examine you and not in another see look at this thing but let each one examine his own work and then he will have rejoicing in himself alone and not in another. For each one shall bear his own load. Uh -huh, with that examining, you should be bearing your own load. Let him who is taught the word share in all good things with him who teaches. Let him who is taught the word, those that receive the word, Share in all good things with him who teaches. Now that you've been, hallelujah, been taught the word of God. You've been taught something wonderful. Share that thing. Just like the one that taught you, shared it to you. Do not let, uh -huh, do not be deceived. God is not mocked. Verse uh, 7. Do not be deceived. God is not mocked. For whatever a man sows. Uh huh. That he shall reap. That he will also reap. For he who sows in uh, of the uh huh to his flesh, he that sows to his his who, he that sows to uh his his uh, the, to his will, to his desires, to his passions, to his pleasures, the things that he delights in. He that sows to his flesh will, uh, will sow into the flesh. Sin. He that sows in sin to the flesh. He that uh, sex, uh, oh my God, sex out of wedlock, that, 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 oh my God. If you're sowing that, you're sowing that, you're going to reap. 
will all will of the flesh reap corruption. You sow into that flesh, you're gonna reap corruption of that flesh. But he who sows, he who hallelujah gives, he who hallelujah plants, he who plows, he who worketh that thing in the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Will the Holy Spirit reap everlasting life? Will through the Holy Spirit. He that's plowing, he's that sowing, he that is working in the Holy Spirit will reap the everlasting life of Holy Spirit. Verse 9 of, of, of Galatians 6 it says, And let us not grow weary. Let us not grow weary. While we're doing well. Let's not grow weary in well doing. Hallelujah. For in due season, when God, hallelujah, hallelujah, shows up, in due season, I will reap. You're going to reap. When we do that good thing for God, when we do that, that good thing, hallelujah, we will, we will reap if we do not faint, if we do not lose heart. If we faint not, we will reap this thing. We will reap that good work that we do in the Holy Spirit. We will reap that good, hallelujah, sowing in the Holy Spirit. We're going to reap. Glory to God. Verse 10, it says, Therefore, as we have opportunity, let us do good. Let us do good to all, especially to those who are, glory to God, of the household of faith. Let me do good, God. Let me do excellent things to those. Let me do excellent things for those who are in the household of faith. See with, see with what large letters I have written to you, says Paul. As many as desire to make a good showing in the flesh. Uh oh, here we go. So, ha ha, uh -huh. Some people want to show out. That's what it said. Showing off in the flesh, being fleshy. These would compel you to be circumcised. Now we came back. These are, would compel you to be circumcised only that they may not suffer persecution. These leaders said, "Go this way. Go this way. Go this way." Stay in these traditions so they don't have to suffer this persecution for the cross of Christ. Now, now the, hallelujah, the, the Pharisees and Sadducees and the Romans and all that stuff is not persecuting them because they, hallelujah, they're not teaching, they're not teaching Jesus. They're not teaching the new covenant. For not even, uh oh, I just heard that. The Lord says some people don't teach him. In totality, because they don't want to, they don't want the persecution. Don't ask me where the persecution coming from, but he said they don't teach him because they don't want the persecution. I don't know. I don't know what that. You have to ask him about that. For not even those who are circumcised keep the law. Not even those, glory to God, that were born into the law. Not even those that's been circumcised. Old covenant, they, they don't even keep the law. They don't even keep all of it. Now we done got to the, to the meat of the thing. Hallelujah. They got you doing all this stuff and they can't even keep it. They can't even keep it, y'all. But they desire to have you circumcised. They, can't, they desire to have you keep it all that up. That they may boast in your flesh. That they can boast. This is, this, is about, this is leadership. This ain't nothing but leadership. So they can boast and say, look at, look at, look at, look at, look at them over there. That was mine. That was mine. That was my out of, out of my my fold right over there. I, they brag. I don't know who they bragging to. I don't know why they bragging because it ain't even right. They not even. That's not even what God is looking for. But fourteen it says, but God forbid that I should boast except in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ, by whom? What? By whom? The world has been crucified to me and to and I to the world. Meaning he's not worldly, he's not carnal. The things of this world don't move him. I've been crucified to that. I've been se separated from that. I've been that's been severed. Those desires of the world has been severed from me. It's been taken away from me. 
me going the way of the world, the trends of the world, the this and the that of the world. I don't desire that. That's what Paul is saying right here. He don't desire that. It's not, a, not what he wants. Glory to God. Me either, actually. For in Christ Jesus, neither circumcision, Old Testament, nor uh, uh, Old uh, Covenant, nor uncircumcised, hallelujah, new covenant, avails anything but a new creation. Come on. None of that stuff avails nothing. It don't even avail. But being born again will. Uh-huh. Being, hallelujah, filled with the Holy Spirit, that's born again. That avails. Be, ha, huh? being aligned with holiness, that avails. Ha, ha, ha. Ha, being kingdom of, led, kingdom of God led. That avails. And as many as walk according to the, to the rule, this rule, peace and mercy. What is the rule? Being a new creation. Peace and mercy be upon you, on you that walk in the newness of Holy Spirit. That walk in the, hallelujah, the, that born again state. Born again is nothing but being, having the Holy Spirit alive, uh, living in you and you aligned in him. Being led by him. Glory to God. Peace and mercy be upon you. And upon the Israel. Upon the Israel of God. Verse 17 it says of, of Galatians 6. From now on. Let no one trouble me. From now on. Let no one trouble me. For I bear in my body. The marks of the Lord Jesus Christ. Brethren. Listen, Paul's like, listen, please, please, leave me alone. Don't do it. Don't trouble me. Because I've been through this. I, I, I got the marks of the persecution. I've been mistreated. And, hallelujah. And I got the scars to show it. Don't trouble me. Get, get away. Don't do that. Brethren. Verse 18 and the last verse of Galatians 6. And we have concluded the chapter. Brethren, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with your spirit. Brethren, the grace, yes, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with your spirit. Amen. Well, let, our, let your grace be with us. Let your grace, hallelujah, be with, uh, hallelujah, our spirit. In the name of Jesus, let your grace, glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This I shall you Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you guys. Thank you guys for listening with me, reading with me, praising the Lord with me. We bless the Lord. We thank God. Hallelujah. We praise the most high God. We give him praise, glory, and honor for he's been wonderful in our lives. He's been amazing in our lives. Yes, things, hallelujah, may not look a certain way, but we thank him anyway. Hallelujah. We thank God. He's so good. Hallelujah. We're blessed, y'all. We're blessed and highly favored. We're blessed. Going in and coming out. We're blessed in the city and blessed in the field. Hallelujah. Everything we do, we're winning. God has put a winning plan in our in our lives. He's the hallelujah. He's the champion of our lives. He's the victor of our lives. Hallelujah. Believe that. I believe it. He's my victor. Hallelujah. He's victorious in my life. That makes me victorious. Glory to God. When God is victorious, I'm vic I'm, I'm victorious. I'm more than a conqueror because Jesus is more than a conqueror. Hallelujah. Hey! In Jesus' name. Yes! God is good. My God. I feel hallelujah. I feel a praise coming on. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. The anointed king. Yay. He's wonderful. He's anointed and powerful. Anointed and true. 
matchless majesty, magnificent in honor. <laughs> Hallelujah. Noble in loyalty. Glory to God. Full of honor. God is honorable. Woo! He's honorable. Trustworthy, faithful, justice, righteousness. Oh, God. Wisdom, all knowing, all seeing, all present. He's everywhere. Glory to God. Hallelujah. God, let us see you in your glory. Let us see you, oh God, in everything that you do. Let us see you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Let us hear you, God. Let us see you, God. Let us do your word. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. I love you guys. Have a good one. Enjoy your weekend. Happy Mother's Day to all the wonderful mothers, all the beautiful moms, all the great moms that love their children. Hallelujah. That knows how to hallelujah. That's aligned with Holy Spirit. And God has given them the wisdom on how to love their family, how to love their children, how to raise them, how to bring them up in the way of God. Hallelujah. That when they get older, they won't hire. They won't go. They won't stray. They'll come back. Glory to God. When they get older, they go out there some a little bit. They won't stay out there. They'll seek God. Hallelujah. Be like, hey, this ain't it. Let me get on back home to what I know. Let me get on back to the Holy Spirit. Let me get on back to Jesus Christ. This world don't have nothing for me. Nothing that I, hallelujah that I'm that's worth going to hell for. It sure does not. Hallelujah. Hell is real. Hell is hot. And I, I don't plan on going. And I don't want you going either. So I thank God for the beautiful mothers. God bless you guys. Hallelujah. You are seen. God sees you. He loves you. He's never forgotten about you. Glory to God. He hasn't forgotten about you. Hallelujah. And I thank you. I thank God for that. I thank God. Hallelujah. He loves his, the mothers. And the fathers too. He loves the fathers too. Hallelujah. Y'all have a great day. Take care, y'all. Pray for me and I'll pray for you. Bye-bye.